You didn't I? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? Oh yeah, I should make sure. Deutsch! <laughs> Sorry. I'm ready. Do oh, Deutsch. Am I live? Why don't you do Deutsch? Hey, welcome guys. Oh. No, I'm not gonna do this one in Dutch. Um, <laughs> not Dutch? German. Dutch, yeah. I mean, <laughs> wait, is it Deutsch? So I... Oh yeah, yeah, the same thing as the same thing. Well, anyway, this is Steamworld Heist. This is the last run of the marathon. I've got my good old friend here to commentate me th through. Sorry, the little block is getting caught in the chair. Anyway, so um, we had Steamworld Dig earlier this marathon. This is another game in the series. Uh, this developer that has a load of Steamworld games. So there's, Steam there's a tower defense version of this game. There's a platformer, which is Steamworld Dig. And then this is a uh, turn-based uh, shoot 'em up essentially. And then the most recent one they've uh, made is a uh, RPG card-based um, yeah. sit game, which is also <laughs> kind of cool. Anyway, uh, I'm happy to get into it whenever we want to. Casual. Are we ready for a countdown? Yes. Three, Three two... two. One, go! go. Alright! So the first thing I skip, I skip the tutorial. Skip tutorial, hell yeah, we did it. Wow. <laughs> that did not go according to plan. <laughs> so there's a small little thing you can do to... Okay, oh, there's a dead spot. Okay, that's not going to be good for me. Why is there always a dead spot when I'm playing this game? What do you mean dead spot? Uh, like right there? Yeah. I can't click in game. Oh. oh. <laughs> Uh, do you, am I going to tap in and out and do that? So, a lot of things are going on here. Yeah. Mainly because, um, whenever I right click, I can skip the animations of what's going on right now. And it's all just my individual button presses. What the hell? <laughs> so, this is actually a really fast game. Uh, yeah, I see. Yeah, unfortunately, and also you can shoot off hats. Hats are a very important thing in this game. Oh. That's why uh, when I was asking at BSG, I was like, can I grab a hat? Oh. So I could, be, I could do meme stuff, but. Nice. Uh, there are different sorts of like types of missions here. This mission is just to um, collect all the swag, as it were. Um, it's an XCOM style like system of, you know. Um, go on. I'll just make sure I kill this person so they don't take an action. Uh, you get two actions. Each of the characters get two actions. Oh, whoops. Messed up that one. Also, the swag is the currency. You Swag is, like, the collectible thing. Oh, collectible. And then you can get an epic swag during the mission. Oh, epic swag. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> um, and the epic swag gives you an extra star, and star routing is a thing in this. Oh, okay. So, um, there's some points where we'll need, like, a certain amount of stars to progress through each section. Yeah. Uh, so essentially, there are some points where, like, I have the option of like skipping, or like, I could skip stuff to make a character die and like get go through a level faster. But I don't because. Um, oh wait, yeah. Yeah, 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 of course. Also, I have no idea of this game. I only played Steam World Dig. Yeah, that's fine. And I that's really enjoyed enough. it, and Steam World Two is gonna. Uh, Steam World Dig Two is gonna. Is also on my list. Yeah, all of the games they make are really like nice, wholesome, and they have like r lots of references to each other. Yeah. Also, the the style and the the sounds are really like uh, similar, similar. Yeah. Haha. <laughs> 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 Ricochet is a thing in this game. <laughs> if you didn't tell. Headshot um, from behind, even though you were in front of it. <laughs> I know. Just that much BM. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So in this one, I have to kill. Oh. Okay. Yeah, that was bad. Up there, let's do that, and... There we go. There's one there over there as well, that's fine. Also, we don't have a hand cam, but he is really fast. <laughs> uh, yes, I heard you. <laughs> I got distracted there. I um, uh, don't need to go that way. Yeah, I do. That's fine. i just do that. Yeah, so, I mean... I'm just playing through the game. T just tell me more. Like, what what are you thinking? What's going on in your mind right now as you're um, watching this glory? Do you actually have to do always the same, or are the enemies like walking uh, differently per, per level. seed? I don't know. So yeah, um, generally um, there'll be the same st sort of enemies. So like uh, in a certain mission, there'll be a certain enemy that will block my path, and that that guy will always spawn. But all these mission lay all these layouts are all slightly different. Oh. So this is all slightly randomized, oh, okay. so I'm having to deal with whatever I get here. There's also a level-based system in this. Um, each character has a slightly different like 
theme and aspect to them. Like the uh, Piper, our main leader, is the commander sort of character who like has lots of um, long shooting pistols and snipers mm. and such like that, and can eventually like heal everyone around them and. Um, and your companion is a shotgun guy, or...? Yeah, he's more of a heavy guy. Yeah. So we should normally be doing this with three people, but uh, if I want to get my third person, I would have to go back to the bar and talk to them and pick them up. So, um, and rather than doing that, I'm just going to go back to the bar when I can hand in this quest I'm essentially doing in a second. Mm -hmm. So I'm eventually not having to do that. Uh, let's go down. Yeah. So you can only go a specific amount of uh, tiles, tiles but, yeah. and at a specific point you can Go there, but not shoot. Yeah, you see the orange. Yeah. Yeah. Um, orange is where we can move on out like one action turn. Um, and there we go. Uh, blue is what would be a sprint, essentially, if we were thinking about XCOM terms. Okay. Uh, this character has a ability called Payback. Whenever, um, <laughs> whenever you unlock a new ability, they'll always give you a second just to explain it, and that's just a really nice ricochet there. <laughs> there you go. The objective of this mission is to just complete that, um, uh, to do that generator. In some times, I've um, only used one character. Uh, yeah, we just, just. There we go. Uh, sometimes I've pretty much only used one character and kept the other character all the way to the left hand side just so they can instantly pick up the stuff. But um, the escape point in this mission will always be around over here. Like, uh, not. Okay. I can't. I, just because everything's so tight, I kept uh, right-clicking before I actually pressed spacebar to do my action. So, what I'm essentially doing is I'm selecting my action and then with like spacebar and then right-clicking to skip it. So it's all just a lot of inputs, and yeah. I've got to try to not screw up. Oh, F. There we go. Like seeing you playing other speed games, it's pretty unusual to see you yeah. press so many buttons <laughs> at, the, at, the <laughs> time. at the same time. Yeah, <laughs> it's like I can input a lot, you know. That's although uh. pit people was also interesting because you had to use two different. I controls. mean, I didn't really have to the world yeah, record you without doing... co-op. Yeah, yeah, you the world doing, record yeah. without co-op was fifteen minutes, but yeah. like I. I reckon you can save some. T you can save like at least a minute or two using co-op strats at the very beginning there. So just do co-op strats alone. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean, it would be fun to do some more co-op strats for like the rest of the run, but yeah, we can take off glasses now because we don't need accuracy. Um, it's also just kind of uncomfortable with headsets, I find. Um, yeah. Yeah, it happens. Let's put you on that and actually give this weaponry to you. So, sit a little bit closer. Cool. So here's the third character we got. This one um, isn't important in the first two sections of the game, but in the third sections we'll be essentially primarily using them. Uh, yeah, let's just move here and then... Nice. Also, just setting you're in the universe with some uh, spaceships, I guess. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so in terms of the story, uh, something I think the Earth blew up or something, or the resources were depleted enough. I'll have a look at the cutscenes again in a sec. Was there any... Yeah, there might have been something up there. Um, yeah, but the resources were depleted, so they had to search ever, um, elsewhere. Uh, he's got three health, so it's fine. Uh, there is a melee attack, which for most characters will just naturally deal three health, uh, deal three damage. If the enemies, well, they're pretty low damage, low. They're just not strong enemies at the very beginning, so I can do stuff like this. I, yeah, wasn't gonna get that ricochet. Uh, if you ever enjoyed like pool or snooker or anything. Yeah, that was a what? thing. <laughs> uh, well, what, you're wondering what happened there. Yeah, uh, you just I tried, shot I, at a different direction. I tried to aim, but there was a thing, uh, like, there was one of those surfaces, oh. so it went in the other direction yeah. completely. Ricocheted off of the guard, yeah. He's holding his horses, by the way. Hmm? He got the horses in the back and oh, holding right. them. Yes. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> Good. Uh, fun times. Oh wait, I can't actually reach over there. Sure. Okay, that's fine. What happens if you uh, if one dies? Uh, one dies, we lose a star per person so on dying. Okay. So preferably, we don't want to lose any stars at the very beginning. I okay. mean, the star routing isn't that difficult. Um, you get two stars for completing the mission. You get uh, one extra star if you pick up the epic swag. Hmm. You get minus one star for every person that dies. So 
It's not that hard. You just do all the story missions. Usually, you should have enough. Um, and don't die. Forehead. Yeah, don't die. Forehead. Forehead. Yeah, yeah. No, there are some like yeah. See, that's our first like place where we could of you know. Um, we had to get nine stars there, so oh, yeah. I mean that was pretty. First easy. checkpoints of having yeah. to having uh, like a specific amount of stars. Yeah, like I could have done this slightly better, honestly. Um, I I could have done the mission first and then picked up that quest. Um, because there there's quests in the game. It's not really quests. It's more so much progressing the story, really. It's that sort of thing. Okay. Um, Steam World com com uh, completing the story. Yeah. Nice. Exactly. We're gonna put on that hat instead. Okay. <laughs> so hats have different uh, stats. Yeah. Yeah. They yeah. definitely have different stats. Okay. Um. <laughs> okay. So basically, they're basically purely aesthetic. Although I believe. Oh. Personally. <laughs> you, um, you lied. <laughs> oh. Wait, wait. Oh. Um. Okay. That's unfortunate. Oops. Um, don't think I can get a ricochet off that, so I'll just keep on moving, and then I'll move that character down here. Um, then with you up there as well, there's a little bit of damage there left, but I can do the angle. Nice. That's the guy that's annoying, because in this mission we have to collect a certain amount of swag. And um, the reason why it's difficult is that guy we can't actually walk through. So if he get, puts us to an awkward situation where we can't actually like uh, get through a certain section, then we'll have to kill this guy. And he takes like three hits or so to actually kill. So it's a, a bit annoying. We're also playing on casual difficulty. So um, just to explain the category or what should be the category, ca uh, casual percent. Um, casual percent. Uh, is where with the difficulty setting. So um, the enemy will be a bit dumb with its AI. They'll miss a few more sh shots than normal. You know, all that sort of thing. So this is an awkward situation where I can't really, yeah, do that sort of thing. Hopefully, if I just stand like right here in the LB open, they'll aim at me instead. Uh, because the the bot that he just hit, that one has two health left, and hitting him is three health. So. Ouch. Yeah, I don't want to have that person die. Six out of seven. So that's me collecting all the swag I need to. I just need to get over there. Okay. Uh, that guy's stuck on the other side of him. Okay, so I will have to kill this thing. Two, and then I can't really do much from here. Just move him up. There are turrets in the game. Uh, there's a whole mission that's dedicated to turrets in like a few minutes or so. Cool. Um, nothing really happened. Uh, you see the number at the top here? That's sort of like the threat level meter that's going on at the moment. Uh, I can fit into that. Like fit an attack through that. I can. Okay. Uh, let's try to more this sort of angle and there we go. Wow. <laughs> so I mean, it's just simply just trying to you know yeah. see the angles and trying to line up. But also off his shield, shield. and back yeah. on the roof and back on his I mean, head. <laughs> I was doing that just to be more safe. If I went further out and just aimed just for his head, then it's yeah. more likely like I actually miss it. But you know, uh, yeah, it's just space and right click to either progress. Like, oh, he unlocked the ability, and right click to skip the animation to actually go do the thing. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Um, yeah, we want to do this now. I mean, technically, we could have. Um, on do it like picked up the mission now and then been able to talk to this guy but I'm talking to this guy now there are a few characters in the game um, that we actually want there's several that we're missing like there's a guy that guy over there he's another sniper character that we just completely avoid <laughs> in general just because it's slightly unoptimal to oh it's the dead spot right there <laughs> so instead of using that guy we'll be using him instead we'll be equipping that on that uh, wait, is this, um, turret plant? Okay, this is turret plant. Mm, that's fine. Uh, the goal of this mission is just to kill one enemy. Uh, there is a strat in this to actually, um, suicide one character for it, and I might go for it, and, uh, uh, yeah, I'll go for it. And then these characters can stay up here. So I'm ma essentially moving this one guy forward into it. Um, actually, with this person, I can just do a shot just to get him out of the way. 
And that's about it. He'll shoot at me. So it's best to, it is good, I, it is a good idea to, you know, clear out the enemies. So they don't take a, like, action to actually shoot anything. But you can only do as well as you can. So there are items in this game as well. Here is a grenade, which is a, you can guess what this does. I'm just trying to get the angle right on it. Um, I don't think I will be able to from that. Uh, let's see if I can get a shot off from this. Nope, that does that. Okay, so that means I'll do bangle and I hit his hat off with that shot, with wow. that grenade. Ah, <laughs> oh, so close. So back, back to me explaining why I think grenades are actually useful in this game. Um, so, not grenades, the um, hats. Yeah. I swear the enemy slightly aims at your hats sometimes. So, if you equip a hat, that means you have a chance the enemy doesn't attack your, like, and only, actual body. And only the hat flies off. Yeah, only the flat hat flies off. Wow. Oh. That was a ricochet. Um... <laughs> you thought I missed! No. <laughs> I was ready for it. Oh man. Wow. Um, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <-bot. laughs> exactly, the, the AI is a little bit stupid in this one, what? so... What? Oh, and actually, I kind of want the AI to hit me, um, just so um, I, I'm trying to do a strat where, like, I would normally have to like get all of these characters to, you know, I would have to get this character all the way back. But if I just, uh, if they die now, yeah, then I just straight will finish because the other ones are waiting. Yeah, that means I do miss two stars because one character died and I didn't pick up the epic swag, which is also something I should have probably done, but like two stars off I think is fine. Uh, usually the routing I've got, like what I need is on my splits, so... Well, I <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> and I, I run this game quite a lot at Marathon, surprisingly, just because it's kind of a cool game, no one's really heard of it, uh, it's a long enough uh, category for people to be like, oh yeah, this sounds pretty interesting, so let's give it a go. Um, and also, Steamworld Dick is somewhat popular, so they associate it with that, so we slip in there. Yeah. And honestly, yeah, this is one of the more technical games out of all the games I play, so yeah. yeah. I mean, you're just seeing it alone, just with the amount of uh, actions per minute I'm doing. Um, now nah, I missed. Uh, all the characters have a slight sway, if you noticed. Um, when they point their guns, that misses. Yeah, it's like going a bit of up and down. Yeah, right? so you have to like do all of that. Uh, yeah, let's just skip all. If I have started my turn right next to the door, then I um, if I do that, then I can ricochet down here. I unfortunately don't do enough damage like that. So explaining the expire mechanic. Unfortunately, this barrel is here, so I can't actually shoot him from there. So I'll have to. Not actually. I could maybe with this one do that. I hit his health. Oh, uh, I hit. I did damage to that guy though. <laughs> almost, almost. Ah, uh, that's fine. Mm. Uh, let's just go over here. Oh, that's with him. Uh, see, the snipers have a slightly longer like aim oh, yeah. guiding, so that's what they're useful for. Uh, I think that might be over there. This is, um, this, oh, there's actually an enemy right there I just completely missed. Um, that's I have. Just to get rid of him. So this is the, one of the first mini-bosses in the game. Well, I'll just eliminate him. That wasn't the mini-boss, I really. Yeah, <laughs> just yeah, in case, you know. yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is the, one of the first mini-bosses, eliminates them, like, immediately. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, there are three different sections to this game. Um, each section has a boss. Uh, the first section has one mini boss. The second section has two mini bosses. And the third section does it have any mini boss. It doesn't really have a mini boss now. Um, actually, we want to move this character beside him first to activate Inspire. Uh, kill that guy away. Inspire basically works of uh, around there. Oh, there was a boss. <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> there was a box there, and so it exploded there and hit all my yeah. party. Um, Inspire works, so the characters next to uh, um, my person gets uh, bene get benefits. Any person, any person, or uh, just my party. Okay. Uh, there's like side equipment you can use as well. That was one that Dell um, is a free action. I'm hitting all their hats off with the grenades today. Um, hitting all the hats off percent. Yeah. Oh, I mean, I really want to do like uh, more like collectible percent sort of thing, but. 
you know, uh, because there's also potential for a, uh, you know, just all stars category, which doesn't exist. A, um, see, I d basically just assumed I was gonna hit the same angle there, but I didn't because, you know, so it's there is a this way, this way. Yeah. So there is a potential to actually like invent some new categories. Oh, there's like there's potential to do like a all stars category. There's potential to do like a new game plus category since there's a new game plus in this as well. And nobody does it. No, Has done it. All the categories are just all the difficulty settings right now, and ah, it's okay. really stupid. I really dislike it because I mean, casual is the easiest and it's the fastest. So I mean, might as well just go with that. Yeah, it's sure. not the whole XCOM vibe of why don't we have a category for like Iron Man, hardcore, super stupid. That's more of a challenge run rather than a speed run, in my opinion. And also, it might have had an unfortunate situation happen there. Hmm. I picked up the Epic Swag, didn't I? Yeah. Also, uh, one of my favorite bands actually does the music for this game. Wow. And look, uh, th that's them playing as a band. Um, this is a song of theirs that they got inserted into the, so into the nice. uh, game. And there's quite a few other moments like that. How are they called? Uh, they're band. called Steam Power Giraffe. Oh. Okay. So the problem is what's happened now is I actually have to redo a mission since I need 20 and I got 19. Oh. Um, which is a little bit of a shame. So I'm just so going to do this lonely mission here. So the strat with the, the suicide thing was uh, actually now... No, I mean, yeah, it was counterintuitive. Yeah, yeah. okay. Um, what I should Oops. have done... Uh, yeah. What I should have done with that is um, I should have actually um, picked up the uh, epic swag w uh, while, you know, uh, while doing the rest of it. Like, with the, uh, with the two characters that weren't doing anything, I should have picked up the epic swag while waiting. I just didn't do it because, I, you know, it forgot, left my mind. Uh, this character is a heavy character. Um, they use like grenades and explosives and rocket launchers. I'm slightly worse with grenades as they have a slight um, fall to them. Yeah. Uh, so it's a bit like hard to get through. I just need to complete the mission just to get the stars. So I'm just going to end. Don't even need to worry about the epic spike. Like, that one's a really quick mission just to do, just in case you screwed up. So. But normally you have uh, like uh, 20, or do you have 21 or 22 stars? Yeah, well, I mean, we missed uh, one star or two stars from that mission that I um, yeah. died on. Um, we also missed one star in that boss mission, because I don't know where I missed that star. I think it was just in an odd space that I just happened to miss. But, yeah, anyway. Now onwards, we do not need to worry about stars whatsoever. So that's always useful. Make sure I equip slightly better weaponry on all the characters. Because um, we just pick up more weaponry as we keep on going along. And um, the weapon scales quite nicely. There are, like, weapons you can buy later on. Uh, so there will be one part where I actually do just um, buy some equipment. Uh, I don't know if I can get a cool angle on that one, so... Uh, I'll just aim at the one over here. Oh yeah, that's the type of gun that actually um, sh uh, fires multiple shots, and I don't think I can get an angle over here, so I'll just go up here. There's cover. I don't mind. It, uh, don't worry about it all too much. Just considering, you know, uh, this will take some damage <laughs> uh, since the AI is kind of stupid anyway. And yeah. So yeah, machine type weapons are kind of annoying since um, when you actually do uh, all the generators on the left hand side. That's oh wait, no, there is one there. Uh, it was a weird angle. That one. That's fine. Okay, I'm going. Nice. Um, so usually this type of mission, I have to destroy two generators. One is always going to be on the right, and one is always going to be on the left. Um, usually I divide one person up to go to the right hand side and one person or two people to go up to the left hand side just in case it's more intense on the left hand side. Um, the generator on the right hand side was really like low down which confused me for a second there. There's the generator, nice. So now we don't have to worry about any sort of stars, we can just uh, avoid doing any of that sort of stuff. Explosives, I haven't really been shooting them much, but of course they do do, or do deal extra damage going along. Alright. And the evac point is all the way far to the right. You see there are like, doors sort of all around, so, like there's another one over there. Um, that could have been an evac point as well. It's sort of just which one you'll get. You'll kind of know more often than not they'll just be around 
Oh, there is one space I can actually land in. They'll be around the same sort of places usually. Um, more often than not, but, you know. Okay. Safe and secure. It is sometimes more optimal to use less party members than intended. Yeah, we've uh, seen just that. Just because you have less, like, um... You, you have less characters you have to control. Going through the mission here, and... Oh, we got a new hat. Let's put that on. Alright. <laughs> uh, just, you know, mix it up a little bit. So now he's got a... Um, oh. Surgeon hat on, you know? Yeah. Ooh, do be careful behind. Do not break anything. Do not pass go. Um, <laughs> so, this is... Um, one of the missions where I should really have, um, you know, uh, only use one or two people in. Um, just move over there, do power shots. Uh, the main reason is because uh, the only objective of this mission is that I have to get to a location um, in a certain amount of time. Oh, yeah, okay, I technically just need to go that way rather than... I should kill that guy because he's blocking my path. Going, that was a bad move. I don't know what sort of angle I could get on him here. Maybe something like that. No. Okay. Okay, that's better. I can get better of an angle on him now. You think you can get him? <laughs> uh, this turn, yeah. <laughs> See, easy. Easy. And then, yeah, it's just up, so. Stand there, destroy that. He's on two health left, but that's fine, that's fine. The only other disadvantage of the characters actually dying now is the fact that um, they don't get experience from the mission. Uh, usually we'll either hit level cap, which is 10 anyway. Um, just add to more auto abilities, yeah, they are not more like things they can do. Sometimes they get like a plus one damage thing, sometimes they get a um, extra health, sometimes they get like extra fist damage. There are like characters that focus around melee, we won't be using any of those in the run here. And this is the first boss of the game, so I'm just gonna make sure I equip everything that I can do, we can get a slightly better weaponry, and just head onwards. Chop chop. There's also a crap ton of puns in the name of the missions. Uh, you'll see quite a few more um, in the next section. So this is the first section um, of the game. The whole mechanic behind this section is sort of the hats, am I right? <laughs> yeah. Um, should be able to kill him there. This character has an ability called Kill Shot, uh, which we'll be utilizing a whole lot more later. Um, the fact that if I um, kill someone with her attack, uh, she actually gets another opportunity yeah. to attack. We want the character to go um, below here, just so we get a higher angle on him. Uh, we want to go there, shoot that, shoot that as well. She only gets wow. one. Yeah, good for ricochets, I know, right? Um, we want this character to go above. This character to go there, this character to go there. Uh, I should be able to get a ricochet on you. Generally, you do want to aim at the head if possible. Yeah, so what I was about to say... Um, oh, his weak point is at the back. Yeah, well, no, at this point he... Um, excuse this. Uh, he has a shield. I can't actually damage him until that shield is broken. Oh, yeah. But luckily I can, this character up here, aim down at it. Unfortunately, it's a, a type of weapon that fires lots of bullets, so not all of them actually hit properly. Nice. nice. It's really useful this character has a uh, piercing weapon. Um, doesn't always happen. It's a random like chance of what I ended up oh, getting. Oh, okay. Uh, it, like some of the items, I, like I don't always get to see in this game. Um, mainly since uh, uh, epic swag, the loot you get from it is just always kind of a little bit different. I'm not gonna bother trying to get that shot off there. Um, move you over a little bit that way so this angle is a little bit easier. Yep. Next sort of phase going along here. I'll throw a grenade at this one just to get a bit more of a guaranteed damage. And then, can I get this off? Yeah, that's easy. Nice. Uh, he'll die next turn, so. That will be good. We do, uh, the exit point of this mission is always down there, so preferably we would like to get uh, further down to the ground if we can. Uh, oh, we can go over here with this, nice. 
survives on six. I'll stand right next to him so hopefully he targets me. Yeah, preferably I would I would uh, people not die. Okay, now I oh wait, did he He didn't Okay, so what happened there was his shield back thing was actually in the wall and so it didn't technically generate the shield for him. <laughs> As he would have the whole shield again. Yeah, the, yeah. Oh. I mean the shield is only like five damage, it's just I wouldn't have been able to target him from there. Oh. And um, the band I mentioned that did the music from this game have um, special songs for each of the boss endings. Uh, they're all their least popular favorite songs. Wow. <laughs> this is Prepare for Boarding, we'll hear about six seconds of this song, you know. Well, this amount of it, however uh, many abilities I get. Okay, another level. Okay, sure. Yeah. Uh, it's a shame that because um, we they are playing in all the different like bars going along, and so it's a shame we don't actually get to like uh, see more of their work and such going through there. I would happily just sit in a bar for like three minutes <laughs> as an incentive, pick a song and then yeah, yeah. Do that. So what's happened here is the bar was taken over by the Royalists, so now we've got to go um, shower the Royalists for a bit. Uh, the next section of the game is um, against like the Imperials and such. I don't know if you noticed, but like all the dialogues, yeah, you can just right click to instantly skip out of the dialogue. Okay. Which is also another cool thing for a speedrun to have. Uh, yeah, no, we want this character to start leveling up more for this curve, uh, and that's already a decent weapon. Good, let's keep, keep going. Royal Tax Enforcers. I call this split HMRC because um, it stands for Her Majesty's Royal Custom. <laughs> uh, wow. Because I, you know, tax, am I right? Yeah. So I'll just do that. Um, ah, that's fine. So this um, technically introduces a few, uh, one or two more mechanics. Uh, okay, that was that room was empty. Um, so again, we have a generator in this room. Uh, some of the enemies here have a um, gun guard, like a you know, basically a shield a cover on their gun. I don't know if there's an actual gun term for that. Uh, shout outs to VK, the person who would actually know that. Uh, <laughs> He's a speedrunner that does all uh, Call of Duty games and shooters oh. and stuff. <laughs> yeah. Um, so now I actually have to worry about swag and such again. Just to, you know... There. See, the swag is there, this mission. Okay, that's fine. Uh, we can actually use this guy. Use his bonus shot to hit out the generator. Nice. Uh, we have to go up there. That's fine. Then we can go over here. I was less shot. There's also Rambo there. Themes of hats. They can't target themselves un unless they've actually got like an explosive um, uh, gun weaponry. Uh, in this, they'll also have um, a few enemies with explosive weaponry. So they'll have, um, you know, someone with a straight just rocket launcher, and someone with like a uh, goo gun. Uh, the goo gun uh, shoots out blue goo, and uh, I haven't been able to show you it yet, but that will show up in a, a mission. Uh, the blue goo is on like each floor tile, and if the floor tile gets hit with a projectile, it'll kind of explode a little bit and burn up and deal, deal damage to the people that are on it, essentially. I, I almost thought you could jump on blue goo. Yeah, yeah, no, it's not that sort of blue goo. I'm sorry, oh, my friend. It's the other blue goo. Yeah, it's the other sort. Of, <laughs> okay. Yeah. Corrosive, explosive. <laughs> Um, so this is, um... Die Tankstelle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's, uh, you know, everything. Yeah. Uh, this is the best character in the game, as well as the song you just heard there was their actual most viewed and popular song. Oh. Uh, that character is uh, called Payroll. Oh, I have to actually... There you go. Uh, that character is called Payroll, to continue our tax-enforced themes. Uh, <laughs> I love it. Um... So payroll, the special thing about their character is they're a flanker, which also means, hey, they move really far when they um, uh, they have a run and gun sort of ability, if you're familiar with any sort of XCOM. No? Okay, run and gun I'm is sorry. basically... It's okay, man, it's okay. Um, he's a platformer guy, not a speed uh, not a speedrunner. Wow. Wow. Uh, wow. Thanks. All platformers aren't speedruns. <laughs> I'm gonna get shot. Um, yes. I just need to check the map here briefly just to see... Okay, I should just go up. This is the whole. Oh, that yeah. There's some of the blue goo there. Oh yeah. Mm. 
Oh well, okay, I didn't quite get him. That's fine. So he'll explain the flanking mechanic, yeah. Um, so if he's... Oh well, I was expecting that to ricochet a little bit. Um, if he is actually behind the target, he'll do more damage. So run and gun, just to explain what that is. Wheel and deal, um, <laughs> wow. is the name of it. Uh, I can attack on a sprint, essentially. So I can move two spaces and then attack. Okay. So it helps out that. Is that a... Oh, it's just a hat. Okay. I'll move up over here first, just so I can continue my movement. More turrets are spawning now, just due to... Oh, okay. Missed that one. That was a fast, uh, like, trying to actually hit thing. Um, I don't have wheel and deal available. I'm just gonna stay down here. They're unlikely to shoot me unless they get, like, a straight down shot. I suppose that could also, like, hit me there. But actually aim at this one a bit. I really don't like the, uh, <laughs> Grenades. uh drop, the drop yeah. off, yeah. They can't move. I'll do that. Get the shot off here, finish that one off. Oh, okay, and then I, with my second action, I actually clicked the movement by mistake. It's fine. Uh, do you see the epic swag somewhere around here? I think it's in the room to my left. So I'll go get that in a second. Um, otherwise, go pick up the thing. Pick up. This one's just to pick up everything, so I'm gonna do that. Um, and is there anything else? I'll just do that. A lot of it's just quick decision making, it's like seeing what you can- There we go, there's the rest of all the crap I need. <laughs> uh, can I wheel and deal again? I can wheel and deal again. Can I reach over there? No, I cannot. I can get over here though. And do that. Sweet. There's usually like an extra swag or so that you can um, pick up during a mission. That's fine. Nah, it wasn't fine. That's fine. <laughs> that is fine that it wasn't fine. Uh, wow, that was just, he is head height right there. Anyway, let's see where the exit is. Just, oh, all the way over there. Oh, great. Um, if I choose something here, that'll... There we go. Oh, I almost actually killed that target as well. Lived on one. So another, another benefit of it just being a flanker is just they get so much extra movement. Oh, and of course, in a speedrun, we want to, you know, move a large amount of t uh, distance in a short amount of time. Yeah, so it's useful to us. Sounds about right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, next time, I'll be able to get to the end point. For and the queen. <laughs> hmm? For the queen. Oh, I mean, this is slight blasphemous. I mean, we're, we're fighting the imperial nations right now, so we're technically going against the government here. So, I mean, we're kind of going against my true nature as a British person, you know, fighting the queen <gasps> here. I know, right? But don't worry, as expected of the Queen, the Queen is actually the hardest boss in this game. Right. No, actually. Like, as expected. Actually the hardest boss in this game. No, but as expected. Yeah, yeah. Because um, the Queen is also great. Uh, praise uh, Majesty the Queen. Um, I don't know how much I should continue with just me joking along with that, or I should stop while I'm ahead. Uh, I didn't mean to do that. Sometimes hard to see what um, is equipped with everyone else. That's something I don't often see. Ooh, that's cool. Uh, is there anything else not equipped by anyone? No, okay. Uh, there is a limited amount of um, inventory space here, and I'm actually gonna not take you as well. Just gonna kick him out? Yeah. Because I don't fancy it right now. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is a mission that works better with less people, so that's why I'm doing it, so... Yeah, it is. I should really just have gotten rid of all of them, but, you know, that's fine. Oh. Uh, because I moved right next to him, I have to punch him. So I'll do less damage since I can only do punch damage. And I'm gonna stand next to the door. Did I explain about like how standing next to the door is better? Uh, yeah, inspired buff. Or no, what? not the inspired buff. Um, if you, um, oh gosh, this is a <laughs> this is a rocket launcher that shoots multiple like rockets at the same uh, at once. Oof. Okay. I'm also looking for where the epic swag is right now. Does it? Uh, There's not already an easy place for it would to be. Um, that's probably there, if anything. No. Okay. Let's just 
ongoing. So, um, usually if you go to a place and then pick it, open a door, uh, that would be using your turn to do so. Like, um, uh, if you, like, on your first turn, if some of your movement was to get to that door, then that would be partially your movement. Uh, if you stand, like, next to the door, that will, won't use any movement up. So it's sort of a benefit of that sort of thing. Okay. Okay. I'm worried about um, payroll's health here. Uh, I also want to pick up the intel. Okay, for some reason I'm... Oh, I'm right-clicking on the dead spot. Oh. <laughs> that's why that's uh, happening like that. And now this character just has to book it out of there, really. Um, I've still got to pick up the thing somewhere. It's in that small little room there. Great, okay, payroll can go pick it up. I missed uh, <laughs> with my shot there. Is there anyone else I can shoot from this angle? I don't think so. That's unfortunate. I'll just move forward here. I didn't um, move on the cover there just because I wanted it more likely for them to actually target that character. Um, nice. Just keep moving. Punch. That's actually good that he punches. Um, oh, the epic spank's right there. Okay, cool. This is fine. Nice. I now just have to hopefully have no one die. Which is always a trial in itself. Um, target you, then slightly kill it. I'll might as well. Uh, if I hide behind there, it's less likely to get a shot on me. Because he'll hit off that. Mm -hmm. I mean, if he was on the other side, he would be more likely to actually hit the explosives. So, oh, that's gonna hit. Okay, cool, it didn't. Uh, I was worried the explosive damage was actually gonna um, manage to actually reach that. He's on three health left. Okay on two health left. That might kill him. Yeah, Rip. okay, that's a death. If all characters die, of course, that's honestly atrocious, but both of them can reach the escape exit here. So, it's... so we did lose one star here, which is unfortunate. Um, I think I'm okay to lose one. But I shouldn't lose too many more than that. Alright. So just to explain uh, what characters I'm actually using and why. Uh, payroll, because good movement, good yeah, person, the yeah, etc. Wheel and, wheel and D stuff. Yeah. Um, I'm using the starter Piper character, the, this one main, like the main sort of character, just due to the fact that uh, she gets a heal ability, like uh, AoE, like the two tiles either side of me gets healed. Yeah, group which, which will be really useful in the queen fight because it, the queen fight is just so long. Um, it's useful to actually have a heal during that. To sustain the fight. Yeah. yeah. Um, the other character I'll be using is the heavy, heavy character. The, you know, Wheel Armstrong here. Um, make sure I'm using payroll. Uh, I need to check what mission it is. You only drill twice. Okay. She like the name. Uh, <laughs> I changed the hat for fun. Nice. Um, I mean, it all just kind of happens in itself, you know. Like, uh, all the actions just... I do it without thinking a lot of the time. Alright, come on, keep on going. Next one is just to collect some swag. Don't think I can actually get a decent angle at anyone from here, so I just will move up to that over here. Just collect the more swag. He will hopefully do. Perfect. Um, I was. Oh, okay, that was two movements. I was slightly on the blue there, unfortunately. I'll do this just to make sure I actually hit the damage range. So I wasn't, uh, wasn't too sure if I'll actually get it or not. Nice, he killed himself. <laughs> um, that will also kill him now. Uh, any other uh, right here? No, okay. That's fine. Uh, we want to just pick up this one and then get out of there. There's the epic swag. That's easy. Good to hear. We only need one more swag left. Uh, we'll move one over there. Good thing about uh, rocket launchers. They actually uh, can, they explode on impact, so it doesn't matter if there's um, something guarding you. Okay, that's all five actually, that's, that was real nice. I swear I missed something there, I, that was so nice. Oh, it's because the, yeah, the evac point is actually in the bit we haven't seen there. Oh yeah, that's why I got confused for a second. Um, I'll wheel and deal, just to move over here, and make sure I kill that out. Cool. Oh, there was a guy over there as well. That's fine, since we can get to the evac point right now. Beautiful. Uh, just as a point of reference, I split every time like I fade into the um, 
uh, door. Yeah. That's sort of like the uh, spec point for me. A lot of, uh, uh, like, the small amount of downtime there. Yeah, because I could just, you know, this is also a little bit of downtime. Yeah, well. true. Just because I can't do anything to speed this up. I have tried, like, you can hunt back out to main menu or anything to, like, save time in that uh, sense. Uh, this is one of the mini bosses. Uh, that's fine. Any other, you can use that instead. It'd be better if I put you on you. Uh, anything else I can use? I can actually sell that. Oh, Royal Impound. So, yeah, this is the first mini boss. Uh, there are two different mini bosses in this one. One of them focuses on like brute strength. Like I'm going to uh, punch you for. F I think they do like. In this one, I think they only do like 4 damage, so it's not actually that much comparatively to the um, normal. I'll might as well move these on longer. Do it next turn. Okay, all that we have to do is actually just get to there. Uh, yeah, I'll just take my time to get to there. Uh, where is the epic swag along here? No, there isn't that on there. These two, on their first turn, will always summon two more dudes. So, if we can get past them in a good enough time, we won't have to worry about them. We'll take one damage there and another damage from that. He's in the open. You can sort of see like the scaffolding sort of area. You can kind of see, yeah, that's the um, like open bit. They shot off my hat. Uh, you can't re-pick it, but uh, uh, if I if you stand on the tower, then yeah, actually. Oh, but that would lose your whole run. Yeah, I mean, my whole run will die from that. No, I'm so your whole round. <laughs> yeah, round. I'm sorry, I'm making fun of you. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm a not a nice person. <laughs> That's not true though. I know, I know. Too modest. Um, <laughs> okay, so, uh, first thing we want to do is wheel and deal. We did actually level this character enough so they have their double shot ability. So they do two shots out there, which is real nice. Uh, we're going to just use the rest of you two to just eliminate some more um, creatures just so they... Creatures? Robots. Um, this is the sniper character was the one I didn't mention and that was actually super rare what just happened okay so what just happened there was the sniper actually missed usually the sniper never misses oh like it's only on a rare circumstances where like maybe they shot off your hat instead or are there like statistics for hitting people or missing uh, for every I mean, enemy uh, well this one is more like a I'll do a stupidly crazy trick shot and pretty much always hit oh. uh, I don't know if I've got yeah okay I have um, uh, the, um, actually we might just have enough to, I didn't, yeah I did actually, that was stupidly fast. Uh, they don't actually, uh, teleport straight away, they only go when, um, uh, they look to a certain amount of health since they'll be showing up a little bit later as well. Um, oh, that's unfortunate, can't move. Okay, because we need oh. to actually eliminate a few, uh, a few of these to, oh crap. Leg is burning. Yeah, the, he can't move, unfortunately. Oh, I can heal himself though, that's a... Yeah, that's good enough. I should have done that a second ago. Actually, hey, do you know what you can do? Save scum. <laughs> okay. So this actually restarts the turn, so I can actually do what I was doing, but better. Oh. So I can actually move there first, and then use the AoE heal to heal oh. both those people up, so they're likely not to die. Um, I can then use this ability to not only get that, but destroy both of those two characters, and then also, finally, with this. Do you think that was worth it? Yeah, I mean, if one of those characters actually died, like, they just took two health there, yeah. um, he had two health total left. Oh, okay, if yeah. he had, If he died, then that would have been a swag gone. Oh, a star gone, and I already lost one star, I don't want to risk another. Yeah. Cool, just sell another thing, and, um... What did I just get? That sort of thing, so I can get rid of you. I hope um, the like uh, mashing it up isn't coming up on the mic too much because I'm doing a lot of that. Oh, and also throughout all of this, all these characters have like all talking points. Like you can have conversations with them, and they'll they'll give you references. And this character, Sea Bass, actually Sea Brass, sorry, my bad, <laughs> um, is actually the narrator for the uh, Steam World Quest, the next game in the series. Okay, it's just like I'll tell this uh, story of knights to you, young, my youngin, <laughs> my youngin. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. 
Uh, BSG flashbacks. Yeah. <laughs> There's actually a small thing I'm doing with that, uh, yeah, okay, this mission. Uh, with talking to that person there. For the fact that I'm actually, um, let's give him a rocket. Let's give him, that's not a hat. Um, he didn't have a hat equipped. It was actually optimal for me to give him a hat. Oh, no. okay, I almost judged you. <laughs> uh, yeah, you, no, you always judge me no matter what. Um, what do you mean? <laughs> so, I was saying something. What was I saying? That's a good question. I'm glad you were listening. <laughs> I am, but I'm forgetful. That's okay, man. We, I, <laughs> I'll forgive you this time. Um, I'm gonna wheel and deal. I meant to wheel and deal there. I just thought I selected the second ability, but clearly yeah, the second ability is actually the um, uh, double shot rather than wheel and deal. That's you fine. were talking about Seabrass and uh, Seabrass, yeah. something. He narrates the... Um, yeah, sure. Uh, he ne narrates the newest game, um, Steam World's uh, Quest. Which is kind of cool. He like talks to his young guy. And uh, this mission is a uh, trap, so I've got to survive a certain amount of turns, um, which is signified by that number down there. Um, since we're actually good at this game, or we're playing easy, whichever one you really want to say, uh, <laughs> um, we can just uh, kill them either in the first or second turn. There, I hit off his hat with a rocket. With a rocket. <laughs> Sorry. That amazed me. Uh, it's sort of like, oh, there's Epic Swag here. Whoa. Um, and then suddenly, oh no. It's a trap and they're attacking us. I want to generically be on the right hand side of the mission, uh, of the map, uh, just because I know it usually spawns like in one of these two places. Usually, or like that one. Yeah, there we go. It spawned up there. I'll go up there and then well, just to get one more additional little bit bag of swag. Swag bags. Oh, it hurts me so much saying this. For <laughs> some reason, I really just dislike the word swag. Excessively. A, A, that also does A. I got uh, new rocket launches, but the rare one I got earlier does exactly the same amount of damage, so. Yeah. Might as well keep using the rare one just to swap, stop me having to actually um, do some menuing. Okay, this is a lone mission, so of course we gotta use payroll. Just check if there's any better weapons I can use for you. Give them the armor, and that works. As okay, lone str lonesome stranger. There's several missions in the game of the lonesome variety. Yeah, that uh, means you can only use one. We did the bonus mission earlier, lonesome ranger. And I guess uh, from now on you will always use payroll if I can. I oh wait, whoops. Ah, well. Oh, sometimes you can. I mean, as in like. Um, for the loan submissions, yeah. Yeah, okay, okay. Alright, uh, what the issue that just happened there was I was usually expecting a guy to be there. He was a little bit um, uh, later on, like into the next little bit of section. So I wasted my wheel and deal ability, which is a shame, but yeah, oh well. Can use the wheel and deal again. Oh. Uh, Ow. There's the epic swag, cool. You can just get one, two, he'll miss me. Yep, perfect. When one button press too uh, late, that means they actually get a turn. That's fine. This one's one of the more easier ones out of all the known submissions. Uh, what did I get? I ca oh, I actually got something real good for run. Uh, this jetpack there. Uh, the jetpack basically lets me uh, increases one extra distance, mm. and also lets me uh, jump up uh, places I wouldn't usually go. Oh. So now this payroll can oh. go to the moon and back. Wow! Essentially. Okay, so there's the barrier there. At Sixteen. Could, I could have like lost four more stars. <laughs> I think it is just that nineteen there, which is the um. Oh. Sorry, the music is nice, but now we have to leave, so oh. we don't even get to the, like, actual song. Um, there we go, you just got the... there was a time. That, but, uh, yeah, pretty usual that you skip the cool parts in speed games. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> Should we just not for a bit, you know? Um, actually give you the jetpack, give you... It's better if you have the, uh, where did, where'd you go? Oh, that. Yeah, okay, that's fair enough. 
clean house. Dead crewmates lose their XP share. I'm actually getting super hot having to wear my coat in this. Okay, let's see where they are. Okay, there's the small side on the right and the uh, big side on the left. This is another gener- Okay, yeah, you can see how far I can go. Yeah. Uh, it's too far. Um, especially since I've... Uh, the issue with what just happened there... Or uh, the issue with going that far is my weapon was a shotgun, so... Oh, yeah. <laughs> Long distance shotgun. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let me just have a spread. Um, I'll shoot you from here. Lots of explosions. So there's where the generator is, so I've just gotta go here. Uh, uh, nice. Yeah. Luckily there is a barrel there, so I shouldn't get hit by a few of them, like maybe one like in that angle. Yeah, that angle. Wow, <laughs> angle. <laughs> angle. What an angle. <laughs> he was just like holding his weapon in your yeah. head. <laughs> Maybe just put it through the barrel yeah. of the floor. Um, next, that. That was lucky he had his shield then, because um, I actually uh, missed him and just caught his shield a bit. And the fact that it was a uh, rocket launcher saved me. <laughs> Okay, in the next like transition thing, I'm just going to take off my coat. <laughs> this is getting way too hot in here. Uh, the last time I did this run, I, I hadn't done it for a while, and it actually just physically wore out my arms enough where I just was aching for a while, which was always fun. Just the fact the amount of inputs I need to make. Yeah. No, I will just wait, wait, I'm about to go into it. Oh, two health left. Ooh. Ooh, that does two shots. <laughs> Two oh, shots wait, missed. Wait, wait. Wow. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Oh. Okay. Yeah, debated. Debated. <laughs> it's fine, don't worry. We actually um, don't need any more um, stars, so, like, technically it's fine. Alright. Oh, oh, serious gamer hours. Soon. We're gonna fight the Queen soon. Uh, get rid of this rocket launcher still. Because we use payroll so much, usually they just get to level 10 anyway, so we don't really need to worry about that amount of XP. Funnily enough, you do get more XP and like more currency on higher difficulties, but it doesn't really mean much for us. Yeah, We've casual got, is enough yeah. to get good amounts of uh, swag. Yeah, essentially. Um, actually, we want to give that weapon to you, and then you just keep that, and then you can use that for sure. What? <laughs> What's a so funny man? <laughs> it's. Like, it's really impressive how you just know by seeing every icon of weapon which one you have to equip and everything, it's pretty fast. Yeah, I mean, I'm sort of using the whole, it's slightly greyed out um, part of it as a help. Yeah, but still. Yeah, no thank you, I appreciate that. Um, this is another, this is another mini boss section. I should really use the wheel and deal thing just to prevent that damage right there from happening to me. You still have to have like a good awareness of what's happening. That was awesome. At any point. Hundred percent. Uh oh wait, oops. That's fine. Uh this character is all about that um base? No wait. <laughs> all that about that cheap race. Uh no no, it's all about uh Copperback his name is. Oh. It's all about them backs. No, he's um can I get a... Good, okay, good, I tested here beforehand. Um, I can't really get a good angle out with him, so I'll just use this turn to get rid of one. This two, probably, so I'll just make sure I don't get hit by that, which is something I was paying attention to. So, he can only do a melee attack, and he has a big weapon, as it were, there. Oh, mm -hmm. I can't move, that's unfortunate. Ah, oh, well. Sometimes they get crippled and they can't move, and it's unfortunate. Not I'm moving as payroll is really punishing. <laughs> yeah, I'm actually going to use Abs of Steel there because that taunts the enemy. Um, I'll still stand next to them, uh, just because they are not the inspired for my character, uh, for the base character as well. So hopefully the taunt actually reached that character and they decide to all target um, uh, my. Uh, what even is the name? I don't know. My mind just blanks all of a sudden. What is this? Um, can Ivo I get a... Wait, you mean this guy is Ivansky, right? Yeah, yeah, oh, Ivansky, yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. How'd you know this game, man? I, 
I wonder. don't. <laughs> that was my joke. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Sorry. <laughs> Pretends to not get a joke. Oh. Oh. Bye. <laughs> oh. Sorry, payroll. Rip. Again. <laughs> Feels bad. Payroll's just getting mad. You might need to go out again to level 10. That's fine. I love the night. Oh, I don't really even care about that. The new item I got is, uh, increases melee damage. Because it was a fist. Uh, <laughs> like, he has a bonus thing where he gets extra melee damage later on because, I mean, do you see how much he works out? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And we actually get enough stars for that thing as well, which is kind of nice. Uh, this is a mission where I avoid doing anything. I'll. <laughs> avoid doing anything. So I've got to go through the Royal Palace. So. Yeah. Let me just go through the Royal Palace a second. I um, equipped, uh, just to tell you about the specs of my uh, motor going through here, um, I equipped the, uh, uh, what's it called, jetpack thing, mm. and then I also equipped an like, additional health. I was going to be like, don't say I can't move. Um, <coughs> yeah, then I equipped an additional uh, armor piece on it, so he has just more health to go with. So you, you can just roll through it? Yeah, payroll through it. Right. Is it called payroll over here as well? Like, you know, um, if you're uh, working for someone and you have to do the payroll and get given... Is that term familiar to you at all? No. Anyone in the audience? Payroll? No? Okay, don't worry about it. It's a UK <laughs> thing then. I guess. <laughs> if, you, if, you're work, if you're working as someone who does payroll, you'd be the person that said, uh, like organizes, oh, this, person, this much person gets paid this much this week. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I'm actually, th this is the queen fight that's going on here, and I'm actually going to do something optional here, which is just tells you how scary this queen fight is. Um, item, get rid of the rocket launcher that we have, get rid of, um, he's being used by that, so I'll keep that on him. Uh, actually, he can use that one instead, so I'll just get rid of that now, and get rid of, uh, make sure he has the weapon up there. Okay. This is a gun store, so... Um, we're just going to be purchasing a few of these. Just to get a slightly better weaponry to go in for this uh, scary fight. Okay, so you're going to be using you, you're going to be using this weapon over here, the rocket launch we just bought, and you're going to be using this. Uh, we're not going to be using that, that, or that, I think. Cool, they didn't, <laughs> they didn't suddenly lose uh, their inventory. I've done bad things like that before where I've suddenly, oh crap, I've sold this person's weapon. Yeah. <laughs> so this is the audience with the queen, hardest boss in the game, yeah. Sometimes it can go really well, sometimes it goes really badly. Um, she teleports every single round, so that's always fun. Um, nice up. angle. Yeah, really nice 180 angle. degrees. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The problem with this weapon is that it's a multi-shot grenade. So you can imagine how much I enjoy multi-shots and grenades. I don't think this is a spread weapon. Cool, but it is multi-shot. Okay. Oh, there was a... no. Powerful. Wow. That's actually really helpful for us. Cool, and they move there. Well, I'm glad that they move in. Okay, I won't be able to get flanker this time. Actually, it's better if I just didn't exist. Wait, wait, no. Sorry. <laughs> Suddenly gets existential. No. Um, oh crap, that was a mistake. Let's just redo that turn then. It was 14 seconds, I lost. And it's a save that I'm not going to take 13 damage. So essentially killing my target, uh, killing my person. Uh, it also means I can use this turn to actually attack that turret instead. So something actually useful. Lots of damage. Okay, so uh, how much damage does that do? I'll save it for another turn. Uh, I'll just kill this person. Oh, one grenade came down. That's coming in. So, the bad thing about this mission is, uh, when you get her down to certain health ranges, uh, she will start summoning in the mini-bosses that you almost ah. killed, throw out. Um, I'm gonna abs, no, nah, abs of steel isn't too needed here, let's just, um, get that shot off there. Uh, this is this character? Okay, that's good. And get the shot off there. There's the other one, Sniper. And the AoE heal here. 
just to get them all back to full health, it should be good enough. So yeah, there's the sniper hitting. If you only get down to one character in this mission, it gets really bad, since the sniper will make you so... It'll pretty much always hit you, and you yeah. can't move from it. Yeah. And then also... Okay, payroll's down. Um, and then also the... Uh, I'll just add some steel here. Oh, the might not actually be able to hit through that. We got one through. It's fine. That's I'll... pretty... <laughs> wow. Hmm? That you hit it through, though. What wow. The? Yeah. See, it always hits, basically. Yeah. I said you. I told you. I said you. Um, <laughs> I told you at the very beginning. It's very rare that he actually misses. So the taunt now... coming in handy. What? Taunt coming in handy. Yes. yes, taunt is always useful. Oh, he can't move. Okay, so that's... So I should do that. Then we can... Hmm... Uh, what should we do with you? I can't really guarantee I'll get that shot. I actually did get some more of that shot. Um, I can't move right, but I can move this way, and it's actually better I just move there straight. But that means he will either target, well, move around, move, have to move all around that way, and then uh, that one will attack there as well. So, optimal. Um, over there. Oh, it's grenades, I keep forgetting. So I need to aim a little bit higher up than when I actually am aiming. Ten. Just punch. Nice. Wow. I'm really dropped in the other room. Oh, that was the punch. Oh, okay, yeah, thank you. <laughs> Two health left. He might die as well. See, this is why it's the hardest boss in the game. It gets pretty darn hard. Luckily, they've only got a little bit of health left, so we should get through this, okay? But we are starting to gain it to a low amount of people here. Um, what's the best angle I can do for this? Uh, 12 health left. Uh, slightly up a bit. 2 health left. Okay, I just need to do like a pinky shot onto him. Wow. And I have to do with Ivan Ski. Okay, Ivan Ski is. Uh, hopefully the queen moves. Uh, let's. See the trail on that? Oh okay, God. and Ivan Ski's alive! How? One health left! Nice. And I actually kill Ivan Ski with that attack as well. Oh, so he's not gonna get some uh, XP? I might ha yeah, I might have to actually. I don't. I think all the enemies. Do I'm pretty sure all the enemies run away now. Yeah, okay, thank God. Because he couldn't do anything. I had to just end turn with him. No more Queen. Oh. I shouldn't be laughing at this. Okay, <laughs> you oh. might actually fix your mic a bit. Okay, yeah. sorry. <laughs> My bad. Oh, we got some music again. Yeah, yeah, it's from just killing the enemy. This is, I think this is the actual, like, low, the lowest out of the three songs they oh. inserted for this. It's alright, it's nice. I mean, it's just that jingle over and over again, so it's not really anything special. Something I haven't really told you that I've been doing is um, when I select the area that I've been going, as soon as I press space, um, as soon as I select the place I've been going, it detects me being there. Oh. So I sometimes select where I'm going and then just immediately press space just to skip the animation of having to actually go over there. Oh, yeah. Don't mind that thing. That's the next thing. <laughs> Essentially, like he's like, oh, well, look at this cute robot, and then it pulls out its three t tentacles. Yeah. As all robots should do. Um... And moving on to the third section of the game. So this is deep space. This is um, the technological... Oh, okay, I didn't actually get the click off. Maybe it was the dead zone or something. Uh, so this one, we're actually not caring about her so much and we're wanting to start using this character a bit more. Um, for that as well. Oh, yeah, that's fine. This character, you know, this character is the multi-shot one, so whenever it, get, it gets a kill, it gets a chance to get another yeah. hit. Yeah. Uh, later on, it will get an ability called Mad Dog, which means uh, it can do that infinitely, that turn. You meant kill shot, not multi-shot. Yeah. Uh, it, well, it can do the whole um, multi-shot thing as many times as it likes per turn. Okay. This wasn't your mouse, was it? It's just ask. What? I think the uh, like oh. DPI of it just got increased midway through. Yeah, okay, that's better. Because I was just getting like, whoa, I'm moving around a bit too fast here. Um, 
Uh, that'll kill technically, yeah. But I didn't kill via my shot, so. Uh, the aim of this mission is just to kill all targets, so it's pretty simple. Um, won't actually get the kill there since we do 9 damage. Uh, grenades aim about here. One of them gets him. Okay. Nice miss. Nice miss. Um, <laughs> I can pretend. Okay, uh, I'll hit this one. Nice. So here's the kill shot available. I won't quite get too many shots with that angle. Yeah, thought not. Uh, I'm just gonna go right next to you and I have enough health to burn at the moment with that. It's you that's the scary one. Okay, I've gotta just check the map a second just to check I'm not missing a section. Ah, oh, it's that section up there. Okay. Uh, it's really hard to tell. Some of the epic swag, the place where the epic swag is, have like special doors. Uh, I find in this area it's really hard to tell which are those doors. Um, I'll just go up here, yeah. I pick up the epic swag and then immediately leave. Ah. Stretch. <laughs> yeah. Cool. We got a rocket launcher for our first ability, so I can get rid of that freaking grenade launcher. <laughs> It's unfortunate the um, weapon will. Okay, that's a space bar. The weapon we'll be using for the um, heavy at the very end is uh, like a multi shot uh, rocket launcher. And so, since it's a multi shot weapon, it's, I find it a little bit more hard to like accurately shoot with it, but you know, you can only do as you can. I uh, might as well do this first. So, here we hear another song for a brief moment. Oh, wait, do we? Yeah, here we do. And we go up here, talk to this guy. I've never actually read this guy's dialogue. So what does he say? <laughs> no, I've never read his yeah, dialogue. I know. I know. Um, <laughs> mainly because um, I play casually. I played through this game like to the two halves of it, so I didn't actually get to this third section casually. And then one of my friends, uh, Skip McLazy, or I think he goes by Skip McPatches now, um, I was like, "Hey, this game is pretty cool." I kind of want to speedrun this game. Do you want to do this with me? I was like, yeah, sure. So I did a casual playthrough, just speedrunning-ish like it, just going through the whole story. And I did it in like two, three hours, you know. Um, and um, yeah, that's how I started speedrunning it. I never actually went back through and went through the whole oh. story. Um, yeah, one off. Oh, well. Uh, so yeah, that's a thing. Unfortunately, he never actually did... Um, do a run of it properly. Uh, mainly since he just uh, wait might be able to get that. Since it's a rocket launcher, has a real straight shot. That's why I like rocket launchers. They're so they got such a straight angle on them. You don't have to worry about actually. Yeah, like, you don't have to worry about like um, uh, fall or anything. Yeah. Uh, the bullet drop. I can, what? Yeah, bullet drop. Just keep on going. So this mission uh, shows you the mechanic behind uh, one key part of this um, phase, and it's um, the crystal shields. Uh, basically, oh, these yeah. shields. Uh, I can't attack the other ones until these ones dies, which is the main reason why we actually are using the kill shot. Oh. Because that was sick. That was really cool. <laughs> I wish I could say that was intentional. <laughs> I, I meant to do like the first shot, but again, the ricochet shot was all too much. Um, okay, there's no epic spike here. Uh, so it's no importance to me. No. Uh, let's go around here. This is Ivansky. Oh, okay. Can I shoot through? No. Oh, so you can just take that then. And the epic spike is there, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I'll just use you to. I can't quite get the. This will do 13 damage. So I can just finish the mission now, but I do want to get the epic swag first. But it should just be in here. Nice. Uh, I'll take this time to just pick up a few more items of swag, just to get some more chances of okay items. Because it gives me like uh, money and then also loot drops, potentially. When I do that whole explosion thing at the very end, where it's just like... Pew, um, is there anyone actually in this area? No, okay. Hopefully this person can get up in this turn. 
No, it seems like they have to go all the way around. I should have got payroll to do it because they would have been able to just straight jump up that distance. Mm. You know, you live in New Orleans. There is actually one section that later where we bring so many people in, there's actually a small chance you can't fit everyone in the um, uh, area here. Oh, wow. Um, just due to the amount of additional like objects are in that, that are yeah. in that area. Okay, and that's everything. I get no benefits from actually killing any enemy, so it's the only benefit I would get from is just um, picking up swag, like additional swag. And that's it. So, not really any point. Leveling up nicely, and another level from them. <laughs> there we go. More stretches, fast little section of the game. The last section is the the second section is the longest section. Um, I'd say then maybe the third, then maybe you know. Uh, the first, because there's only three sections, so you know, you can only want to three. Uh, there we go. Full on production. This is the one that shows off the bombs, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I think? Or it's a different one? I'll see in a second when I see this actual objection. Uh, no, okay, this one is another survive them all. Oh. Uh, so, I can take it from that angle. Oh, one off. Sure, I'll just... Because it's slow, like, kill two things. Oh, that was easy. And then more of them just suddenly spawn out of nowhere in turrets. Oh, yeah, you get introduced to the turrets of this area. They've got a laser beam thing. But they'll charge up for one turn and then shoot the laser beam. Uh, luckily, they won't actually um, move the direction that they uh, are using with their laser beam. So it's really easy to dodge them. Uh, unfortunately... Uh, okay, it's best to... Um, Mad Dog, sure. Uh, first, shoot this person. I can do 9 damage total, so then this one... This is the whole Mad Dog thing. Yeah. So... Uh, can I get another one from that? I can't do 13 damage. Is there anyone else? No, okay. Can once. I only just do 3 damage also? I mean, no, the... Um, <laughs> 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 yeah, no, it's, um, it'll just be missing with 2 of the bullets out of 3. Uh, where is the... Is the Apex Mike somewhere in this mission? Just picking up all the swag that I see at the moment. Is there an Apex Mike in this mission that I'm just not seeing somewhere? I don't think so. I don't see this another enemy. Just have to wait these turns. Here are them more spawning now. Okay. Let's deal with more. Like, I could have uh, saved the mad dog section for this, but. Um, nice. And that one too. Nice. Um, I didn't miss any of those. Uh, what's best to do here? I'm going to stand in the middle and taunt. Then at this angle. Oh, this angle. Go to double shot. Oh, missed the second guy slightly. Mm, yeah. I see, Brass, what you were doing. Uh, gotcha. Uh, my pain, it hurts. <laughs> <laughs> That's a crit. Um, lonely shield up there. And that's it. Another one. Keep on doing the thing. Sorry, I didn't pick up on a. Okay, that's not what I intended to do. So I can choose this. Oh, it didn't actually fully damage. Hey, I'm gonna punch it for a change. Didn't punch it. Well, wow. <laughs> just decided not to, apparently. Punch it. Um, I do want to make sure that does die. Oh, I can pick up a hat. I'm going to move here just to not pick up the hat, but totally get into a better position. Uh, is there another one I can shoot from here, this angle? No, I don't think I can see anyone apart from this stupid angle, which I'm going to go for. Oh, I didn't get it. <laughs> the likelihood of me actually getting that. Oh, survives on one. It's unfortunate. This, uh, this is another beam guy, so... Easy. Uh, the only bad thing about the turrets and those beam guys is easy to miss. But uh, they take their charging attack takes a lot of time and just doing. So preferably, I would like them not to do it if they could. 
Uh, move to a place, and you can hit there as well. Uh, beautiful. 100% swag collector, so I assume I picked up the epic swag. I don't remember if I did. <sighs> okay, get rid of that weapon, and that's all that I need to get rid of. So there is an inventory space. Uh, you can buy things to, you know, increase the inventory space. We have enough money for it, it's just out of the way. Yeah. Oh, uh, Tower of Communication. I think this is one that I, um... Yeah, th that, and I do this for. Uh, is there anything... Oh, I freaking hate stun guns. Put on the um, Predator hat. Um, this is one where I'm pretty sure I just have to get to a location, so I'm only using one character. Same build as last time. Uh, I'll wheel and deal here, so I can actually, um make sure he doesn't deal me any damage. I fold. Nice. Um, let's do that. Do the thing I need to. Hopefully it spawns on that side, because then I can pick up the epic... Beautiful. I can pick up the epic swag while um, just getting to the exit. Because oh. it's that spot that I need to get to. This is all scary, but as long as I can take that much damage, then it's fine. Nice. Easy. Out. All those missions are always really quick and I love them. And they can just sometimes be really slower if you actually um, bring in like one of the other guys. Because so if I brought in the slow, heavy, I wouldn't have gone up that fast. Right clicks. Okay. What's actually happening here, law-wise, is we're uh, breaking people out of prison right now that have been like trapped away from the uh, days can disconnected. We're slowly breaking that. We're breaking people out of prison. We're um, disrupting their communication systems and all that sort of thing. Because it's like a hive mind computer network sort of thing. So eliminate remaining. Let's just go over there and then. Hope I won't be able to get quite a um, that shot. Maybe no. Fine. Uh, beautiful. That was amazing. Okay, life is good. Life is good. Life is good. Here okay, next, have to actually. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh oh, it's slightly behind the thing. Uh, I can probably throw a grenade down there, and it'll deal enough damage. Beautiful, that was actually... Believe it or not, it was beautiful. Um, uh, oh, this is a... Oh, that's a weapon I've never had before. Well... <laughs> I mean, I've only played this game... For, I haven't played this for too many hours, too. Uh, like, uh, there's, there's a lot of stuff. Like, the record for this game can sure be, like, worked upon sort of thing. Yeah. Yeah. But that's the case with, you know, some games that just aren't that popular, you know. Can only oh, do so well with. I know the epic swag is usually in that little space here. This uh, this map's usually kind of similar to what it'll always be. Sometimes there'll be a slight difference. Oh wait, that slight difference already happened. Yeah, you're right. That's cool. I like it. So that laser person that appeared at the bottom left there. Uh, usually that appears in that room there, which is why I went over there, but. I obviously didn't need to. Alright, days are disconnected. That's dumb. What time are we looking on, by the way? Just out of curiosity. Uh, 1 hour 22. Okay. Dunno. <laughs> uh, if you would have your splits. Yeah, because it's just so many sections. And yeah. Like, uh, it feels like not much time at all, but like... And you're always splitting on every door you are every going door. through. So you have a lot of splits. Yeah, this is, I think, the most splits I have in any... Um, yeah. Yeah, just keep going on this one. Oh wait, this is... Don't bother. No. I have to actually wait for it. This isn't the mission I thought it was. It's unfortunate. I have, this is a little bit of time waste here. Uh, could I do it? Well, this... No, I can't. I can't. Uh, so that's me actually having to first, um, like, abandon a mission normally. Uh, I can equip some... No, I can't. That Let's go on. First time I had to abandon the mission on casual difficulty. There's no disadvantage to it really whatsoever. Um, 
on higher difficulties they'll give you like a, oh we take away some of your uh, water and all that sort of stuff water being the currency and so this introduces this sort of enemy here um, looks like an insect not really uh, so basically the, the idea behind this enemy is he's, a, he's got a, char a turret shield and he spawns bombs each turn Okay. And you essentially have to get behind them, so you have to either move fast or use some sort of laser, or like explosive thing. Wow. And that seems. I don't know if that goes through all targets, so I don't quite know how to. <laughs> wow. Yeah, man. Uh, the bombs are, you know, hittable, so I can actually use Mad Shot to target them and all that sort of thing. Um, but they only deal a little bit of damage anyway, so I'm just not going to bother too much. Uh, just make, just keep on going with you. Keep on going with you. So now there is one thing I have to keep in mind here. Sometimes you see that gate there. That can be the spawn location, or sometimes. Oh wait, it's actually the turn. Um, <laughs> it's actually the playable turn. Um, sometimes it can be like that platform down below that. And the reason why I have to pay attention to that, oh, just move forward with a lot, is sometimes there's not a way to get up there. And so if I move the characters all the way down that way. Um, then the characters without like a jetpack won't actually be able to get there. Oh. So I have to pay attention to that. Uh, uh, you can go up here. You can shoot this for a free action. Just to get it out of the way. Then kill shot, shoot this thing, hopefully get an angle on that. Nah. Uh, well let's test if it actually works to go through things. Nah, okay it doesn't get through. So that's the slight disadvantage of um, that laser weapon then. What's that dealt with? Move up here with this one. Uh, I have to aim slightly higher. Uh, when I first did my runs of this, I didn't know you could actually sh like point and click aim as well. Oh. So I shaved some time off with knowing that fact. And I can end the turn this... Uh, I can end the mission this turn. Not, I can end the turn this mission. <laughs> uh, what did I get? Freaking stun guns. Hate stun guns. They just disable an enemy for an action. Maybe there's something I'm not getting with it, or there's a mechanic behind it I'm just not understanding, but it just seems crap. <laughs> yeah, well, you deal no damage, right? What? You deal no damage. Uh, yeah, like, it's a free action that you stun a target, but then I can just shoot them. Yeah, you know, or... just not kill them. Yeah, yeah exactly. Uh, beam me up. Okay, uh, eliminate. Okay, that's yes, the beam golems mission. Uh, any weapon upgrades I could do... Technically, I could do for... That's the character I'm not using. <laughs> I could upgrade uh, Piper's weapon right now, since we got a new, like, sniper-esque uh, pistol weapon. With, like, a scope. Okay, so all I have to do in this mission is eliminate three of those beam golem guys. So, that's the simple case of... Uh, let's go all the way, all the way, all the way. Oh wait, not that far. Um, <laughs> wow. I didn't see there was an actual like solid surface there. Which is unfortunate. Um, uh, 19 health. I can maybe kill it if I... No, not really. Nothing I can use to kill it here, so I might just do a sh... Actually, that explodes. That might be able to... Yes, okay. Okay, double shot available. I can do that and potentially not really. Is there any sort of angle I can get through there? Not really. Uh, not really any angle. I can show that, right? Yeah. No. Okay, just move forward. Wow, didn't actually kill it with that. That's fine. Yeah, that's okay. So that, double shot enabled. Let me kill the remaining of it. Move this all the way, get that all the, ready to go up to that top section, where there'll probably be another one. Ah, oh, man, speaking, I've been doing a lot of it. <laughs> There's the epic sway. Sway. Um, <laughs> beam that. Oh, so it doesn't, it does actually go through um, small territory, like that sort of yeah. stuff, but it doesn't uh, go through, like, hard... Um, Guards. <laughs> they missed. Um, 
Uh, that one's what I can kill. Didn't quite kill, but it's good enough. I can get a good angle here to shoot both of them. That's actually real nice, I'm super happy. That... Two health off. I'm super happy that I was able to actually get that sort of weapon. That's cool, I really like it. Uh, it'll be helpful for later on. Okay, so where are we going? Uh, down there. Okay, that's fine. This is fine. What sort of damage do we do? 10 damage straight. Okay, this does 10 damage straight. Okay. Oh, the ricochet of that slightly got me a little bit. Nice. Let's go. Beam me up. Just got that sort of weapon, that's fine. Get rid of that. I also could get rid of that, but I can't. Uh, I can sell if I have too many things in my inventory, but I can't actually sell if I um, uh, I have inventory space available. I have to go to like my inventory oh. in that menu. Which is why I did that before the shop, because I can't buy anything uh, if I have a full inventory as well. Yeah. Um, the check mark I have to make here is 20 for stars, and I'm pretty sure I'm already past that. So I don't have to worry about it. Uh, you can, it's one of the top uh, top left or top right corners. I'm not too sure which one. I can't remember off the top of my head. Uh, I've got 21 stars, so oh. we're fine there. Oh wait, that wasn't the actual checkpoint we needed to go to. That's fine. Shh, I lied to you. Um, yeah, okay, sorry. I got confused with my uh, inputs for a second there. So this is, um, I think this is one of the last uh, lonely missions. I mean, there'll be another mission where I just choose to do by myself as well. This one's explicitly the last you can only use this character for. Uh, wheel and deal, and then try to... Okay, I'll get over there. Okay, let's just restart that turn. Seven seconds lost. I guess. Yeah, I mean, seven plus whatever time that took. You know, let's just get this way instead. I don't... <laughs> Uh, the problem I had with that one is, um, I just did it bad. Straight up. That's a problem you can have. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> yeah, oh! Didn't expect this! Um, <laughs> it was the exact same configuration as well. Uh, both the enemies were guarded by this and I couldn't quite line it up so I could get like a multi shot or anything. And I think, yeah. Uh, this one's a little bit worrying in the way of um, sometimes you can just take too much damage in this one, uh, and that should be the last. And where do I have to go? Up and around the other direction. All right, so it would have been better if I did go right first. Yeah. Small difference, but not really. Didn't get to see what that was. It's fine. Don't worry about it. 24, I should definitely be above whatever um, threshold I should be at now, so it should be fun. Don't have to worry about anything else. Ah, so. Yes, and this is a uh, disrupt the communicate. Okay, it's this version, yes. Uh, I'm gonna keep the old weapon, even though it does slightly less damage, since I kind of like it. Um, what weaponry can you use? What weaponry can you use? Perfect. I'm actually gonna just not bother using you. We can do enough without it, and sell that as well. Uh, this is the mission where I mentioned earlier that I could potentially run out of space, so oh, yeah. me taking one less person just helps out a little bit with that. Uh, what I'm trying to do, this is a big like area, like that sort of big area, oh. and with only like, okay, I'm lost, there we go. I'm eventually trying to get as far like to the side and down as possible. So I'll be doing that essentially. Nice, they missed. Uh, I'll do this with the kill shot. Uh, this isn't the kill shot, but that kills. So it's a kill shot technically. Um, hey, mechanics. Yes, okay, cool. Far down as possible. Since the thing we want to find is in like the middle. Um, I should have wheeled and dealed with that. It, it, it's in the middle bo uh, bottom, and it's, uh, it's a disadvantage to get, come into it from the side. Or, like, above, sorry. So that's fine. So, yeah, this is what we gotta do here. Um, I'll go in with payroll. Do that here. 
Uh, do I have a multi-attack weapon? Perfect. Cool, and we just have to get over here. That's perfect. Just taunt. I should. And have any other issues with it. The Lord just attack this one. And life will be beautiful and great and dandy and not uh, having problem. There's a couple more missions left before the final boss. Uh, the final boss does take like a, a little while as well, so you know we'll see how it goes with that. <laughs> Haven't really made too many mistakes. Uh, the main mistake I'll say is just having to do that extra one mission yeah. there, and yeah. just some missions just generically being a little bit slow. I've taken my time to look around for the epic bag, so I def definitely don't get like locked out of anything. Okay, yeah, 23 is the thing I actually have to hit. Right, let's go. He's just going over here and talking to this guy again. He's a he spots something weird in the horizon or something. I don't know. I've never really read it. But his name is Moon. I think you can actually uh, play as him as well. Okay, so I think replicate this. No, okay, this is the replicator mission, not the. Okay. It's funny how you seem to know some uh, like a lot of it, but then you also know some really minor like things. Not like. You said you think you can't play with him. <laughs> like, why don't you know that? <laughs> uh, like, I th I'm pretty sure you could. But I, if I, if it was incorrect, I wouldn't say yes, definitely. I've also just, as a person, got a very bad habit of saying vague things, uh, being very vague in all the things I'm doing. Oh. <laughs> uh, I'll just, okay, just move forward. Both the things I was trying to get to were just blocked off by this shield here, so I couldn't do much about it. Um, uh, actually, you can use this to kill the replicator. Then get the double shot off on you. Nice. Still one left there. Cool, he just teleports it in the way, so I might as well kill him. By kill him, I mean now I kill him. Uh, I will ricochet off the... Wow. <laughs> I was like, I'll kind of ricochet off the door anyway, so... I won't bother too much, but no, apparently not. Okay, we there is the replicator. Cool, real and deal. So this thing, um, this will basically show up in the um, final mission as well. Uh, uh, use this to briefly kill this one. Then that final attack potentially. Uh, yeah, it's under nine health. Nice, easy. Uh, every time you leave that alone, it will spawn another guy in, so essentially you want to manage that thing as fast as possible. And there's two of them in the final boss mission, and we spend th like the first like two turns uh, just destroying those, and that's basically it. And get out. Be fast. Do well. Replicate this. <laughs> we also picked up a hat there, because I could do it along the way. <laughs> See, they're all level 9s and 8s now, and see, the XP hasn't really even been an, issue, been an issue. It probably would have been an issue if you, like, picked up all the characters and, you know, uh, didn't just solely use the majority of the same characters yeah. throughout. Uh, about Charged and Reddit? Charged and Reddit? Yes, that's that one. Okay. I'm sort of going via, like, the names. Uh, I'll do the Rescue Strat and um, only use one person. Just to try to get... Since we're doing well and I've got him with a good equipment, and look at that hat! Isn't it beautiful? It's funny. <laughs> Sometimes you can get the Queen's Crown. Um, oh. I'll have a look at where it is. Okay, yeah. Uh, it's a shame I can't get through that, so I'll just wheel and deal for a second here. Uh, I didn't really need to wheel and deal. That's fair enough. Okay, go up here. Go behind that cover there. Uh, the, what I want is always in this left sort of section here. I said they're all randomly generated. Yeah, they are to extend, but they're all somewhat like they'll have the same like shape-ish sort of thing. So where they exactly are and all that sort of thing will always be different. But uh, we can't do it this time. That's a bad idea. To stand in between two explosive. My hat. My hat saved me. Wow. They aimed at my hat, not the explosive barrels that are right next to me, and would hurt a lot. There's also a lot of them around here, which is why I was saying the risky strat. So yeah, this is more of a risky strat. Um, uh, 
That was also probably a bad idea, let's not do that. Uh, the issue what happened there was, uh, the place I want to go is uh, blocked by that, so I can't actually get there. So I can go over there, they'll be able to shoot me all from behind, or if they teleport to the right, right hand side of me, it'll be good. I'm hoping they just don't like try to stand in this sort of like area there. Uh, we're getting low, we're getting low. Okay. Okay, we're going to go behind this thing again. Okay. No, we don't want to do that. <laughs> if I just stood there, I would have been right in the open. Oh. So. Which is also a bad idea. So I'll do that one try one try again for the Hound. Um, because usually that was pretty bad luck in the routing going up. Usually you can go quite... And actually stand behind cover along the way. A little bit easier. Oh, that's unfortunate. Um, wheel and deal. Then with a shot, actually take out that. Didn't take any damage from that either, so it's not bad. Although I'm standing, I should really have stood one tile to the right because I wasted a whole selection of movement there. Well, that hit me so. Nice miss. See, I don't know where they all came from before. It's like, there's barely any of them around now. Cool, I was able to open that, get behind the gate. It's all because they teleport to catch up to you, so if you run and leave them behind, they're never fully just behind. But yeah, this is sort of what I expected to happen more so much, you know? Like, this is much easier. Okay, yeah. And also the fact that, like, since I didn't open that door, they can't shoot me from that side. They have to, like, get in there. Oh. Since, well, they can open doors, but they have to actually actively walk through it. And that is the way out. So that's what was meant to happen there. So we're not anywhere like world recording over here, but what was the estimate I actually put through for it? Sorry. You estimated one hour fifty-five. Oh, that's plenty of time. Okay. Like if I maybe have done one fifty or one did one forty-five, that might have been a bit more of a stretch. But we're coming up to the last few missions now here. Okay. So here's an example of um, yeah. immediately going to that place. We also hit hit the level cap with payroll. I'm pretty sure on that last little. Um, level there. I'm pretty sure this song is Steamboat Shenanigans. Pretty sure. Sometimes, like, uh, there's two songs I get mixed up between uh, that sort of sound a little bit the same exactly in the opening. I always get them two mixed up, but... Okay. So this is the final mission now. Okay, so... Let's make sure we're all equipped with some... I barely have any actual loot. I just got all the... I, I got, um... Wrecked. No, this should be fine still. Don't want to use him, want to use him instead. That's fine. Yeah, okay, go. On the far side of the moon. So this boss isn't too hard, it's just kind of slow in yeah. doing it. Uh, since, you'll see, he's a big eyeball. That sort of thing. Okay. Um, Spend the first turn to get rid of the replicator on the right, and then you on this side as well. And is there another thing from this angle? No, I can't, so I won't. Uh, I can. Okay, the ricochet was too uh, too not strong. <laughs> it's too not strong. Uh, I should be able to. Oh wait, it's a laser, isn't it? That's fine. So he basically has a laser beam and you can't attack him from his front. That's basically all of his mechanics right there. Okay. Gonna do that, no, oh, inspired. Oh wait, oh okay, I've got that sort of weapon, cool. Didn't quite see that, oh, that's fair enough. Uh, there's some weapons with a sc wow. Um, there's some weapons with a scope that will um, uh, be an actual sniper weapon. They will have an incredibly long, like, shoot um, like uh, guide, weapon guide, whatever that's actually called. Oh, yeah. Um, but you can only, you can't move after you use it, which is a little bit unfortunate for this sort of, yeah, sniper weapons. It's only just explaining it to me now. Uh, 1 to 13. I'll kill it in this next hit here. And might as well just. Warcry, yeah! Deal extra damage for a little bit. So I should have moved first. 
Whatever. <laughs> yeah, like, it's not too big of a deal. Essentially, if you want to split up your team, to like, some of you go uh, on the right-hand side, some of you go on the left-hand side, just to uh, split up where everyone is, that'll just straight kill, so I might as well get rid of it. Uh, I should really test if... Uh, you could just go up here for now. Um, you get rid of that enemy, just rather than... Oh, yeah, I have to snipe. So I can just do a shenanigan <laughs> shot from all over the place, but yeah. One enemy will still spawn in at a time now, and then eventually we'll hit the point where the next phase will kick off, probably in this turn of attacking, a round of attacking. Uh, I can't really kill him from there, so I won't even bother. Uh, have to keep still with the sniper weapon. There's a reason why I've gone slightly higher up in the map. Okay, so the next phase is starting. He'll spawn oh, yeah. these crystal orbs around himself and also a bomb generator up there. I'm gonna move obviously and kill one of them. This is one reason why the mad dog ability is just so useful here, just because so many do spawn and it can save a bunch of time in just turns, let alone. Um, so if I'm over there I can make sure I kill this thing. Then hopefully I can get the angle to kill... Nah, that's not gonna be able to do that, so I'll just try to shoot out there. Spend time with you to actively... I can ricochet this... like that. And you can hit that, so let's ricochet this all stupidly like... <laughs> Too easy. Yeah. Or well, I could probably try to target that a bit more. That goes through that thing. So that's nice to know. So I don't actually have to worry about that shield of him. And also, yeah, no, that was true. Uh, just do the same thing here. Get rid of that guy. Um, anyone else that exists around? No, just... So yeah, it, okay, it doesn't go through that bit. If it's if I'm behind them, I will be able to hit them. Where actually is the second enemy? Can I... Oh, okay. That was a mistake moving, that's fine. Just get him to a above position. Ah, oh. oh, and then immediately that happens, so I'll have to move this guy again. That's probably a decent position for him to just stay in. Um Do that so I can get a shot off on them. Uh use payroll to eliminate down the numbers. Can't shoot that angle. We'll undeal it. Wow, flanked. So I actually screwed up some damage there I could have used. Alright. Cool. I'm just really hoping they just don't target my sniper guy. <laughs> and then... Yeah, keep moving on with you and do that. Next phase yet? No, not yet. Not yet. Yeah. There we go. I knew it was probably going to be around there. I don't know the exact number ranges of it, but I kind of have a feel for it. So yeah, so now these guys come in the side and it becomes a real like war to just try to stay up and available. Kill a shot. Oh, I actually just... <laughs> uh, there we go. It's a shame she has a multi like a shotgun like weapon so I won't be able to do some real like far far shots. Hopefully he doesn't move too forward as well because that orb behind his back, which will always stay behind his back, um, I can guard this person as well, so we'd prefer that not to happen if we can. Um, we can only get one shot target in from this, so get this off and then kill this guy. We'll use Piper to an actual fact. I can do this. Uh, that's the last one. Guarding him, so I can just aim that sort of way. Okay, the angle's a little bit too far. Um. See if I can... Okay, I might be able to hit um, through that. Just as a point of reference. Cool, they're staying there. That's beautiful. Not getting close enough. He's there, but that's fine. So what I was trying to say there is I think I can do this sort of thing. Yeah, I can. That helps out immensely so much. Um, 38, okay, here's the last phase. 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, that's more guys. Wow. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's just so much uh, more of a drag than anything else. Yeah. And that was the last action of my turn. So yeah. Okay, he's close enough now. I can maybe try to mad dog this turn. I think. Everyone's lining up to do that. So first I'll... Uh, that angle. To that angle. Nice. nice. I maybe could have got that one as well. As well. Um, I'm gonna Mad Dog. So hopefully I can... Actually shoot please. <laughs> Two. Okay, ah. I didn't get that one slightly. Ah. Oh wait, it's Sniper Weapon. Oh well. Uh, oh, he's gonna target that one. Mm, doesn't matter too much. Move one tile to the right, why not? It might help out a tiny bit. That's gonna hit that. That's gonna hit him now. Alright, we're getting to the... And time ends when the fanfare appears, when I kill the boss as well. So, it's relatively soon coming up, not... Uh, Ivan Ski, please, and then how far can I go with you? Not very far at all. I'm just gonna save his action to do the thing. Um, it's only those three left. Okay, Ivan Ski can just shoot this up here. Oh, there was, oh, there was actual wall brick there. That's the one I won't be able to get to. Um, might be able to get some shenanigans with this. Wow. <laughs> yeah, it's just taking the time to actually try to find the um, angle for it. And now he should be free to kill, so I just need to deal 25 damage, which is two shots, maybe three. Oh, okay, let's go well. What's the timeline? Uh, one hour, 50 sec, uh, 50 minutes. Well. Okay, so <laughs> yeah, it's basically what I'm going to estimate. No world records today, no world records today. And not quite time. Yeah, but and set. time. Okay. Hey, there we go. Last round of the thing. There is also like an in-game timer I go to. I don't know why they don't stop at the same time. But um, where is the exit place of this? Yeah, there's a lot of weird things about this uh, run. The fact that so I'll just um, just do the little bit just to. Get the end final in game time if that's okay. So, tell me what you th for the run. Like, it's cool, like, a lot of stuff are going on. Yeah, the. A bit like, more random. Yeah, but, mechanically, know. it's like. Yeah, like, nice. I guess your hands are. could ache after. Yeah, it's okay. I think. Oh, space bar. After a lot of playing, like. Yeah, you definitely probably couldn't do too many runs with this in a row. Yeah. Uh, but hey, this is sort of in. The, well, this has been not sort of in um, the SAL. You know, um, speedrunners assembly of Luxembourg. Uh, we've got a nice host hero with me here. <laughs> um, and yeah, I'll, I'll just skip the cutscene. We could watch it at the end if we really want to do anything. But hey, the in-game time was. If I skip the credits, one forty-eight twenty-two. Nice, not bad. What is your PB? Uh, it's like 140, uh, it's 145 or something like that. It's, it's pretty close. Yeah, yeah it's, it's pretty cool, yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is one of the songs that they actually made for this, but it actually was popular and they like made a music video for this as well. But yeah, I don't know if you have any ending words or if you want to transition to a, like a different sort of thing rather than just ending the marathon here. Yeah, it's the end. <laughs> yeah, this is the end. Thank you, I appreciate it. Uh, thank you for having me. Bye. <laughs> Top tip out.